Saturday, did the players set the standard for the season? Um, yeah, um, look, we'd worked hard all week, um, obviously towards Leicester. Um, we'd focus a lot on Leicester. And I think um, you guys in the press and media obviously had written us off. So I think a lot of us want to go out and prove a point, and I think we did that um, with the performance and obviously the result. Um, but we're looking to build on it. Um, we've got Swansea tomorrow, which is going to be another tough game. We know that. But we're going, obviously, after winning our first game. And we're looking to build on it. Does it suit the players? That underdog tag where everybody's got you down as favourites for relegation? I suppose it takes the pressure off. Um, a lot of people said, you know, we had a free shot at Leicester. Obviously, with them being reigning champions, um, it's always going to be tough for them because the expectations they have now are a lot higher than they were before when we've all heard them speak about you know hitting the 40 point mark to, to stay in the Premier League but obviously they went on to achieve great things um, but in regards to self, um, ourselves uh, we need to focus you know on picking up as many points as we can um, obviously I think um, well, with everything that's going on behind the scenes it's been well documented so um, we're just focusing on our football which as professionals that's all we can do um, so we're going to go into tomorrow's game with the same manner that we went into the Leicester game and obviously hopefully we can get another result. It's a tough start isn't it fixture wise, so how important was it to get that first three points? Yeah well I think it's always nice to get points on the board straight away, um, it is a long old season and there are a lot of games and look everybody wants to play in the so called big league um, but it's getting the three points um, on the board as quick as we can. I know we've got some tough fixtures coming up but we're looking forward to it. No word on the future of Mike Phelan yet this week. As players, would you like to see him given the job on a full-time basis? Well, he's been here, what now, two and a half years. So he knows he knows all the players, um, even though there's only, what, 12, 13 of us fit. So he knows us all well. Um, you know, we worked, we've worked hard, hard all week with him. Um, and I think the Leicester, the Leicester result, a lot of credit must go down to him for the way he set us up. Um, the way he worked all week, I know, and it's it's been enjoyable. Um, so you know, obviously that's up to the the hierarchy to decide. But in my personal opinion, I think you know it would be it would be good to have him. It's been well documented the the lack of signings so far in, in this window. As players, does it surprise you that you've not had more additions this week? Yes, but football football's a funny game. It's not as easy as just. You know, ringing a pallop saying Do you want to fancy a kick about, you know, Saturday at three o'clock or whatever. Um, I know these things take time. Um, I remember my own transfer from Sunderland to here was was tough. It took time to go through, but obviously we'd like reinforcements to both the squad. Um, a couple of fresh faces would, you know, lift, lift, you know, the lads, etc. But it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. We just have to focus on ourselves and what we have available. And obviously. Harry Maguire should be back now, so that's good for us. That's another, you know, big personality and you know another good player back through. So, you know, we're looking forward to the next game. Has there been a bit of banter flying about in the dressing room about the lack of signings? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, we're just hoping nobody breaks down, obviously, because we have the four long-term injuries, which are which are big setbacks for us. But you know, slowly they're getting better by each week so you know we know they'll be, they'll be back as soon as they can and they're pushing to obviously get fit because they want to be there supporting us but it would be nice to have one or two players come through. How do you see the challenge of replicating what you did last weekend as Swansea this weekend? It's going to be the same in the sense that it's going to be tough both games are tough but tough in different ways um, obviously Leicester's style of football was Highly documented last year, obviously, We're playing to Jamie Vardy's strengths. Um, but obviously, Swansea have been a team for the last, God, what, five, six years now. Um, I think since Michael Laudrup was manager and the style of play, and then Gary Monk, who took over after him, kept the style going. But they've always been a passing team, so it's going to be, it's going to be a game where we're not going to have as much possession as we probably like. Um, but you know, we worked on it, we are focused on it, we're ready for it. Um, we just could accept the challenge and you know, go at it. What was last weekend's victory done for belief? I wouldn't say it's added much on because I, I wouldn't doubt the belief that we have. Um, I believe that's that's there in abundance throughout the squad. Um, it's been highly 
what he spoke about that you know we have great character and great belief in this squad as it is. Um, there's a togetherness. So um, I think the result was just kind of the, the cherry on top of the the cake, so called, um, because. You know, it's it's already there. Um, I think that we showed that, and I think we will continue to show it throughout the next few games. Can you maintain the spirit, and the, the togetherness going forward? Yeah, I believe we can. Um, obviously, we had great success last season, um, and I think we've kept obviously a lot of those players, and we have big characters throughout the spine of our team. Um, I was only talking to somebody the other day. We probably have six players who've captained, you know, obviously Hull and various clubs that they've been at previously. So it shows that we have leaders in in our group. Um, so I believe we have big people and big personalities that you know help us guide us guide us through the situation. You spoke earlier about how the players were perceived and the media written you off this season. How did that manifest itself for the game? What did you do to, to sort of remind yourselves of that? Nothing. Yeah. No. Because just because the press are always going to write something. Um, obviously, they're going to look at. We have no permanent manager. We have at the time eleven fit senior players. No signings have been made, so it was nothing new to us. We knew that way, and we knew that everyone was going to write us off. But we dug deep. We believed in ourselves. Um, you know, obviously we got we got a result, and I, and I think that we'll continue to pick up results. Um, we'd worked, and obviously. Exploiting, you know, the space for Vardy to run into. Um, we all know how quick he is and how direct he is, and obviously he's he's an exceptional finisher. Um, on the day we were quite fortunate; he missed two or three chances. You know, um, Livermore made a great great block. Obviously, if that goes in, it go, we go one 0 behind it, and it's a different game. Um, but he set us up in a good manner to you know deal with everything. Um, we tried to close them out midfield, stop them playing, stop them. Obviously, turning us, you know, turn us towards our own goal, and you know his work all week helped us do that. Um, but it's been good. What sort of manager is he? Is he quite thorough in the way he prepares? Yeah. Look, when you're Sir Alex Ferguson's assistant for long enough, I presume you go through everything, um, and he's not taking any shortcuts now. We've watched everything on Swansea. Um, we could tell you everything about them, how long they sleep, how many times they go to the toilet, everything. That's just the kind of person he is, and um, he's a winner, and he's trying to embed that into us. And I think that showed from uh, last week's performance and all week.